Hi guys, my name is Emma and today is day 24 of the 25 days of perspective. Today we're going to talk about dairy. There are many different areas of social justice that dairy falls down into. And we're going to touch on quite a few of them. We're not going to go into great depth into any of them just because I want to talk a little bit about each of them. But let's start off with what is dairy? Dairy is usually considered cow's milk, but it can also, it's considered to be cow's milk, but we can also see goat's milk and sheep's milk as an extension of the dairy industry because that is the same idea is that we are taking the milk from a mammalian creature and the only way that these animals, these female animals can produce milk is if they are pregnant and have a child. Every single time that a cow produces milk, it is only because she has just had a baby. It is not something that they are naturally gifted to do. It is not something special only to cows. The way that they have to produce milk is the same way as every other creature. So that means that she has to be pregnant. Now, there's billions of cows that are in the animal agriculture industry. These cows are not getting pregnant of their own free will. And for that matter, the rest of the animal agriculture industry is also created through the exploitation of a female body of a living being. Because there is no way that we could have 150 billion land animals that we use for animal agriculture to kill and eat them without the exploitation of a female body. So it has a great deal to do with feminism and how veganism and feminism cross over there where the whole goal of feminism is to reduce the exploitation of the female body to give the rights back to women and to females over their own bodies. So it's very strongly correlated and there's an amazing book on it that I will link down below. And now a lot of people say, well, I'm addicted to cheese or to milk, whatever it is. And they are right. They are addicted to it because milk has casomorphine in it to, uh, to have the baby cow continue to want milk from the mother. And that is why it is so addictive. Why cheese is so addictive is because 10 gallons of milk are needed to create a pound of cheese. So now you've taken a product that naturally has morphine-like substances in it, which is an addictive compound, and now you increase the concentration by 10 folds, and now we feed it to people on everything. People put cheese on everything. And that's why people literally say, I'm addicted to it, because they literally are. And now for the race aspect of dairy, a majority of minorities cannot digest dairy at the same rate that the population of white people can. Yet in the USA, a great deal of advertising goes towards minorities to consume more dairy, which, although no one needs to consume dairy, we don't need dairy from we do not need cow's milk more than we need dog's milk and giraffe's milk we don't need it but since it is something that exists it is also marketed towards a population that has an even higher rate of not being able to digest it properly and they are facing much higher rates of diseases and cancers associated with the consumption of milk at an even higher rate and then there is the environmental racism aspect of it that a great deal of cow farms are located next to minorities who are facing the toxic air and water that is being polluted by the waste of these cows. And it is an ongoing circle. So then, you know, there's the animal welfare aspect of these cows having to live in these conditions being forcibly impregnated over and over again, having their child stolen from them. They're on this constant duress and all these stress hormones go into this milk and then it is fed into humans. And then humans are facing much higher risks of cancer and calcium loss. Although 
milk has always been portrayed as being this great source of calcium and actually there are many studies that show that places that pro that consume more milk have higher rates of osteoporosis so check out the description box below and i will see you tomorrow have an amazing day